News Talk 820 WBAP. I'm Marlene McCormick in the WBAP Newsroom. It'll be a somber visit by the president. The story at 8 on WBAP. Eric Harley along with Hal J. Brian Estridge returns tomorrow. Dr. Alex Del Carmen, Executive Director of School of Criminology and Criminal Justice and Strategic Studies and professor there at Tarleton State, has been on with us before. Uh, he is in charge in, in part of uh, helping to shape uh, and, and educate mm-hmm. these young minds who will be part of the criminal justice system, including police officers, going forward. And he joins us right now. Uh, Dr. Del Carmen, welcome back. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, tell us, uh, Chief Brown um, here in Dallas made uh, some interesting comments, and I think they were all constructive yesterday. But one of those was an observation in that we are asking police, the police to do too much. Um, would you agree with that generally? Um, and is there a way to prepare these young minds that, uh, that you deal with on a day-to-day basis? for everything they're going to have to deal with, big and small, on the job? So so the first part of your question is, you know, it, it's really, I mean, being a, a police officer today is one of the hardest, if not the hardest job out there. I mean, it is, it, they, they have to deal with such complexities. And Chief Brown yesterday referenced all the way from uh, dealing with things such as a lost dog to a domestic violence incident. And, and you know, being a police officer today they have such a wide range of, of things that they have to deal with that it becomes almost a job of impossibilities. Uh, in addition to that, we, we really don't give them enough support in the context of psychological support, emotional support. Um, again, trying to shape the young man's minds, as you say, in the classroom to prepare him for that. There is nothing that we can do to really get him ready for that first day of the job except to, to let them know that this is not going to be a job for, for the soft at heart. What about the uh, interaction with the community? A lot right now, and, and some of the other, uh, I, very, I think, very constructive conversation is about having a great interaction, greater interaction everywhere, not just in Dallas, but everywhere, with uh, police departments and the citizens that they serve. Is, is there a way to, to, to convey that message, uh, to build on that in, in the classroom in, in preparation for going out and doing this job? There is, and we're doing that at Tarleton by bringing in members of the community, uh, bringing in folks that have had law enforcement experience, have had many years uh, as as police officers and police commanders, uh, to bring in their expertise to the classroom to engage in that dialogue. But keep in mind that police officers, they go through a trajectory during uh, on an ongoing basis where it is an isolating job. By the time they've been on the job for 10, 15 years, you know, this is, this is a career that holds the highest number of suicides among any other career in the United States, uh, highest alcoholism rate, the highest divorce rate, among others. And so, so by virtue of that, it becomes an isolating job where sometimes they're so into, into a psychological framework that they refuse, and sometimes they don't even know that they want help. We're going to break for traffic, but when we come back, Dr. Del Carbon, I know when I get up and leave the house at 3.30 every day, I kiss my wife goodbye, and I don't ever worry about being killed at work. I don't have to worry about that. A police officer... The psychological part that you touched on, I would imagine, uh, weighs heavily. We'll talk about that next in the classic Chevrolet.com right now traffic center. Here's Laura Houston. Southbound 121, you got a wreck there near Preston Road before you get to the tollway. Looks like that's in the right lane. Southbound 75 delays there south of Stacy all the way down through Richards, and that continues down towards 635. Got a problem on northbound I-35E right there at 635 as you move from Dallas up into Farmer's Branch. That's in the right lane. Of course, it's heavy back onto northbound Luke called Walton Walker. That problem reported westbound the George Bush Turnpike right there at 75. That's now on the shoulder, and you still have the eastbound I-20 at Cedar Ridge. Covering Tarrant and Denton counties, here's Monty Cook. Problem of making your way along northbound East Loop 20 at Trinity Boulevard off to the shoulder, but still stacking things up back toward I-30. And the problem clearing up now on I-20 eastbound around Bowman Springs. With WBAP right now, Traffic Watch, I'm Monty Cook. Look for a high today of, yeah, 97 today. South winds gusty, 15 to 30 miles per hour. Same thing tomorrow, right now, 79 degrees. Thank you, sir. Dr. Alex Del Carmen of Tarleton State University, executive, uh, executive director of the School of Criminology there. We're talking with him again this morning as we did last week. Uh, so let's talk about the psychological part of a police uh, policeman's job. When he leaves the house every day 
and kisses his wife and kids goodbye, he may be kissing them goodbye. And uh, I would think that mentally that's pretty tough. On a daily basis, police officers leave their homes and they have no idea if they're going to be able to come back or not. And uh, at the end of the day, as you pointed out before we went on break, one of the things that happens is most of us, when we leave our homes, we actually, you know, never even think twice about being making plans for that evening or being able to uh, see friends over the weekend or go somewhere. Police officers on a daily basis have no idea the 100 hours of boredom of their job will lead them to that one second of terror. Uh, Dr. Del Carmen, uh, one of the other uh, uh, statements that the the chief made yesterday was, listen, uh, if you see a problem, uh, we're hiring. Uh, get off the sidelines. Uh, you've been you've been marching. Now now come you know fill out an application and join us. Is it? Do you see this common thread? And we see this with the 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 fallen as we learned about these individuals, these five individuals in Dallas, and how they really were true public servants, and and this was a calling by all descriptions uh, for them. Is that a common thread that you see in your classrooms? Absolutely. Look, who, who's attracted to the law enforcement profession is a person that wants to serve and protect the lives of other people. As I've said before, um, not only in your show but other shows as well, is that. 99.9% of police officers are decent, hardworking Americans that really want to help out their fellow citizens. We do have a portion of them that should have never gone into law enforcement and should have sadly never gone through the process of becoming police officers. And sadly, that's what we see oftentimes portrayed in the media. So people have a, a tendency of generalizing, but the majority of police officers are wonderful human beings. You bet they are. Dr. Alex Del Carmen, thanks for the time again this morning. Tarleton State University, we will be in touch, if it's okay yeah, with you, sir. Yeah. And playing an important role, by the way, in helping a community, yeah. our listeners, yeah. kind of make sense of all of this.